Uh, Dorin, you are, you are most welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning on. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you abundantly. Once you reach on the platform, you can share, you can comment and like. As we worship that song within one to two minutes, I'm also sharing something here. I'm sharing a link somewhere here. Uh, Nampi Jaya, welcome, sweetheart. I'm sharing on this phone. Within one minute, we are starting. We have already started. Salon and Akwaira, you are most welcome. My uncle, uh, Fred, you are most welcome. We love you so much. Yeah, we are glad to have you. May God surely bless you. I want to tell you this. You are not going to remain the same this lunch hour time. You have made the best decision. You have made the best decision to tune on on this lunch hour. But let us worship this song in, in two minutes. Oh, oh, Kaima, you are welcome. Abraham, you are most welcome, Papa. Yes, don't leave, please. You are not going to, to be left the same. But please go ahead and, and share, comment, and like. Share, comment, and like. At the same time, subscribe on our YouTube channel. We want to make 1,000 viewers. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. The link that will lead you to our YouTube channel is in the description of this video. Hallelujah. Feel free to send us a message on WhatsApp. Ladies and gentlemen, our WhatsApp number is 0705 So feel free to send us. Feel free to send us any message to contact us, speak to us, share with us anything. You can go ahead and partner with us. Please, we need partners. As some of us who have got groups, you can go ahead and share in groups. You can share this video in many groups so that people can be helped. Remember, we are in our season of breaking covenants. In the covenant, COVID-19 has no problem with you. Because as you speak, many people are, are, are in fact benefiting from this COVID-19 season. As people are complaining, other people are benefiting. So COVID-19 is not your enemy. But your worst enemy is the covenant that you made. Your greatest enemy are the situations that you move through. The things that are tying you around, that are entangling you. The things that are weighing you down, the things that are besetting you down, are your greatest enemies. So we cannot allow the devil to, to make us blind. Uh, Stella, you are most welcome. Like the, the, the current saying, where the devil makes you to stray and you focus on something else and leave what is important. We are still focusing on God. We are focusing on what God wants to do in our lives. So we come against every covenant. We are in a season of coming against every covenant, against our lives. We live in a life of always making a covenant. Wherever you go in prayer, you are making a covenant. But before we came into Christ, we had already made, we had, we had already made the covenants. So the Lord has revealed it to us. Through our pastor, Medici Takufe. At 9 p.m., we are going to have a powerful prayer. But I want us to have some teaching about covenants, covenants more and more. And you're not going to be left the same.
another thing before we go in the word. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have Holy Communion. We are having Holy Communion tonight. So you can get your Coca-Cola or Pepsi soda. Uh, like we do in the church, you can find bread. Very small. And during the during the um, the, the Holy Communion, the service to that 9 p.m., you get just a small cup like this one. You put very little, little, little of the soda and you get very little bread. If you have got some wine, it is the better. You can mix small, a small drop of, drop of wine and then some sort of Coca-Cola or Pepsi small. And then we, 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 we have Holy Communion. If you bought a big bottle of soda, it is okay. You just get a little of that soda, very little. Like maybe the cup, uh, like the cover. You can put like two covers. Uh, two, two, two. You can put soda in the cover and you power, like two of them. That is the measurement that we need. And then we can have all the communion. After having all the communion, after like 30 minutes or an hour, you can choose to finish your phone or your soda, a bottle of soda that you bought. But when you have Holy Communion, we always need to have a small, we have small of it, please. Please and please, I come again, we have a small of it. May God bless you, prepare for the Holy Communion. At the same time, we are fasting. We are fasting, we are in prayer and fasting. For me, I'm fasting. And then, we are, tomorrow, we are having the uh, washing of the feet. Bishop Chitakfe left us with John 13 to guide us concerning washing the feet. So you can read it. We are in the times where by Kuzik is up. There is nothing like giving up. There is nothing like folding our hands. Spiritually we must progress. Physical and spiritually we are progressing. So and better we are going on. There is nothing like saying we are in COVID-19. Ah, our hands are now tied. Spiritually no. God spiritually is by the way more at work in this season. Like never before. Hallelujah. His eyes are moving on to and fro. Looking for people that are trusting in him. That's what he says in 2 Chronicles. That his eyes move to and fro. Looking for people that trust in him. That he may show himself strong to them. Hallelujah. Yes. Pastor John Semakula, you must welcome. I'm humbled. I am not a pastor, but I'm really humbled to have a pastor in this service. And the men of the brethren, Stella, Kaima, Abraham, uh, and all the people that are online, Nampija, everybody, may the Lord surely bless you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8, the devil moves like a roaring lion seeking somebody to devour. But at the same time, also the Lord's eyes are moving, looking for somebody who is trusting in him. That he may show himself strong to that, to that person. God, if I guess you are welcome. We are in a season of breaking covenants. We are coming against covenants. Uh, normally people, we, I, I always pray that you have a spirit of patience. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that we need to have is patience. Hallelujah. Like when you go in the class, you will sit down and you have to follow the teacher. For me, I struggled so much with the sciences in my class. Why? Because whenever we would be seated in the class, the teacher, math teacher is teaching. Remember, you must follow step by step. Hallelujah. So for me, when they're teaching, your mind has run out. About who? You are thinking about a little while. Who else are you thinking about? The teacher is teaching in class. Mirunja, welcome. And then you are thinking about porridge. You are saying, oh, when are they going to ring the bell that we go and eat, take porridge? You are there. When we are in the top class, you would be there thinking about the donut. They used to pack for us donuts in a container. You are there looking at your donut and uh, we used to hang the, our bag somewhere on the wall. So you are there looking at your bag saying, when will lunch come? When will, sorry, when will breakfast come? That I may go and I enjoy my donut. Amen. So, you are in a class but with divided attention. You are divided in attention. So, at times we find it hard to teach in such a season because people, you are online and I'm not seeing you physically. 
Therefore, if I'm to teach something, you can choose to live there the point and you can do something else. But if God can give you the grace and you follow closely, surely you will not be left the same. These are services of undivided attention. The same thing in the church, we have that problem. We are always divided. We are divided in church. You are in church, but you are on the phone. You are in the church, you are thinking about kids at home. You are saying, ha. Oh man, no, that's it is a Hallelujah. But we, we must give God the first priority. Because if you have to go before your boss, I, to trust me, you you you'll give him much attention. I have entered, I have always entered the lecturer's offices. When you enter, you are on set set. You are alert, very alert. A mere lecturer. Then how about our sovereign God? Hallelujah. Beluja, you are welcome. Godfrey, you are welcome. Pastor John, you are welcome. Stella, you are welcome. Uh, Napija, you are welcome. Abraham, you are welcome. And everybody online, you are most welcome. Let us have a, a, an, an opening prayer. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are in our midst. I welcome you in this place, O oh Lord. Come and have your way, O oh Lord Jesus. I am just a mere vessel. I disappear that you may appear. I pray that you may heal somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we always live in a life of agreement. This is what I may start with. We always walk in a life of agreement. Let's start from your home. Amongst your children. You tell your child that, uh -huh, I want you to go and bring me that cup and that child will agree to bring that cup and you can't do it that child may not say okay mommy i'm going to bring to do it but the child may just go and bring the cup ah that means this child responded obeyed or agreed to what you told him hallelujah so we live in a life of agreement we always walk in the life of agreement if it isn't that we cannot move together that's why the bible says in amos can two walk together when they have not agreed? I think around Amos 3. That two cannot walk together unless they are in agreement. Amen. You cannot follow what Pastor Takufe is directing us to by the Spirit of God if you don't agree or if you don't believe in Him. So you always walk in the life of agreement. But the greatest question is here. Have you agreed about the right thing? I am not going to be shy. From childhood, we have moved a life of agreement, a life of promises. That is why our God is a God of promise. And a certain singer called Snatch sang a song and said, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. We are on earth because we are on earth because God promised us something. We are in salvation because Jesus promised us something. Even for me to be born, my father and mother agreed. And when they agreed, they met, they came together, and they gave birth to me. Amen. With agreements, hallelujah. With agreements and consent, great things always happen. But with ignorance, we have done many mistakes. We have entered, we have tied ourselves. We have locked our lives to things that are leading us into destruction. This does not only apply to us, but it applies where we come from also. That's why the Bible says, when you are born again, you are a new creation. A dog gives birth to a dog. When you are born of God, you are like God himself. By the spirit, you are a child of God. So when you are born again, you are a child of God. But also to get up to become born again, you must first agree. You must first have consent. That is why uh, in Uganda, for somebody to enter into marriage, they believe at the age of 18, somebody has reached that knowledge of, of, of being conscious of what he or she is entering in. This person can consent, has matured enough to, go, to, to accept, to know that this is right and wrong at the age of 18. Amen. And that, that cuts across almost every nation across the world. Most of them, they, 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 they believe that by 18 years, 
many people are able to do what to this and what is right and wrong. Uh, I know an adult. To be an adult, it depends on a social, social, social setting. Some people, we may, some people are, are adults, depending on depending on, on responsibilities. Others are adults depending on the law. Others are the adults be, be, depending on the culture. Others are adults depending on many things. The same thing, a covenant, a ch some challenge concerning some covenants. Some covenants can get us, or we can, we can move in some covenants irrespective of what age we are in. For example, I want, to, I, I want us to have an example. Hallelujah. I want us to have an example from the book of Hebrews. The Bible says that Levi was able to give a tithe when he was still in the loins of Abraham. Are you getting me? Listen, whatever we do, whatever I do, I'm doing it with what will come out of me. Listen to me. When I'm to give birth to a child, this child takes everything from me. He will take the body from me. He will take the blood from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That is Hebrews 7.10. 7, the Bible says that, For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Are you getting me? I want, to, I want us to first have a, a brief story here. I pray that you may follow me closely. Listen to me. The Bible says that Jesus comes in the order of Melchizedek. Who is Melchizedek? We find that Melchizedek was a king in the times of Abraham. When Abraham met this man, he gave him a tithe. Because Melchizedek was a man of God. Hallelujah. Now when we come years later, thousands and thousands of years later, in the generation of, 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 of the apostles, a certain apostle was preaching to the Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews. And when he was preaching to the Hebrews, he was telling them that we must follow Jesus. And they were like, Jesus does not come in the, in the priestly line. Yes, Amen. And then he told them that Jesus is in the order of Melchizedek, according to Psalms 101. Psalms 101 says that Jesus, by the God Himself, for and he said that they have made Jesus a priest according to the order of Melchizedek. And we all know that Abraham was there before Levi was there. And then Abraham gave birth to Isaac. And then Isaac gave, gave birth to Jacob. And then Jacob gave, gave birth to, to Levi. Of which Levi was known to be a priest by then. But the Bible says that this man, the patriarch, Abraham, the father of all believers, gave a tithe to Melchizedek. Gave a tithe to Melchizedek. Amen. And then we find that he did it before even Levi was made a priest. Now, Jesus, the Bible says that when Jesus comes, he is put in the place of Melchizedek. Hallelujah. Then this man tells them that even Levi gave a tithe through Abraham to Melchizedek. And now we see that Jesus is above Melchizedek. I don't know that somebody is getting me. So coming back literally, we find that what I want to bring out is here. We see that Levi was not yet born. Because Levi was a son to Jacob, of which Jacob was a son to Isaac, and Isaac was a son to Jacob, to, to, to Abraham. But whatever Abraham did in the, in the flesh, he was doing it with Isaac and Jacob and all the sons of, 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 of Jacob, where the 12 tribes of Israel come from. What I want to bring out is here. The Bible records and says that when, when Abraham was giving out a tithe to Melchizedek, even Levi was not born. Levi was still in the body of Abraham, but because Abraham gave out a tithe, also Levi gave out a tithe. What does it mean? It means that whatever your grandfather did, or your grandmother did, though you were not there physically by then, you did it with him. Why? Because physically you were cut off from them. Mubutondi, let me bring it out clearly. An orange will give birth to an orange. Hallelujah. So, whatever your dad did in the flesh, you partake of it. That is why there are some things that we have discovered in, in this current generation. You will find a family whereby they are always beautiful. 
They give birth to beautiful people. Why? Because in their lineage, physically, God created them when they were beautiful. The best example I can give out is people that are brown or brown skinned in color. For example, the white people. People living overseas. People living in, 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 in uh, England. People living in Europe. They're always white people. And whenever they give birth to their children, they will give birth to brown people. Are you getting me? Now, coming down here, the same thing applies. Hallelujah. Physically, we take, in the physicality, we take that, of, we, we partake of that which people in the physical wear. Are you getting me? The best example I can give you is here. If your father was in a grass-touched house and gives birth to you, was in a grass-touched house and gives birth to you, what does it mean? It means that you will be born in a grass such house. Doesn't mean that because you have to be rich, instantly you will fall in a, in a mansion. No. Your father was poor. That means that is a setting where you have come on earth. That is your delivery point. Your delivery point on earth was in a grass touched house. It is you to fight your way out to make sure that you reach where God wants you to reach. We all have great, we have got great destinies. But our delivery points differ. Are you getting me? Our delivery points differ, ladies and gentlemen. Are you getting me? Are we together? For example, you, God may want you to be a citizen in America, but you were born in Uganda. So when you are born in Uganda, it will take time to work out, to work about, you will work about your life to reach up there in USA. Are you getting me? So coming back on the issue of covenant, where we are delivered, we find things around us. And it is you to change things around our lives. What did your father de de do? You may be born in a house which was, which was of reeds. But when you grow up, uh, now tell you, Octavia, you are most welcome. Amen. You send my, my greetings to Adash and the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to bring out this. That when we are born, we are to Zariva. Hallelujah. We are the one to change the things around us. Bishop was telling us yesterday, when we are born, amen, we must honor our parents, but we must come out of their customs. We must come out of anything that we are doing that which, which doesn't please God. We must, if our parents were sorcerers, if our parents were witches, if our parents were night dancers, if our parents were thieves, everything that was not good about your parent in the physical when we accept Christ and we are born again, we must come out of their lives. And coming out of their lives, we break the covenant. There is a man, my God, called Joshua. Joshua in chapter 24 of Joshua says, But me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. He told the, the, the entire congregation of Israel, It is upon you. But for me and my house, we shall serve God. There are some people who said that for us and our house, we shall serve Luvali. Me and my house, me and my children. For example, I, I cannot hide this fact. We have been seeing, yeah, it is 24. We have been seeing uh, people whereby they're saying that vaccination. And some, some men came out and said, me and my kids, holding these kids, we shall not be vaccinated. Today, yeah, we have refused. Hallelujah. So, according to the flesh, according to the physicality, According to the natural man, according to the carnality, amen. We don't know what our, our parents put us in. We don't know what our parents put us in. For example, physically, amen. We inherit to secure in the physicality to secure. Are you getting me? For example, whenever somebody is going to die, he or she will write a will. Again, a kuandike dami. Something that you are inheriting, what you are inheriting, many people have been inheriting it. That land was for your grand, 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 great, great, grand, 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 great, grand, great, grand, great, great, grand, father. People have been inheriting that land in the so you find that at physically that seed is in you. You have been inheriting that. 
But the Bible says, as we Christians, the Bible says that we have no cash. There is no condemnation against we that are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that it became a curse in Galatians, that you may become a blessing. Amen. According to the traditions of men, people that never believed in Jesus Christ, believe me or not, they erred. But they get power to kill us and become a face Christ of our calling, so we need the truly no kufan, the return to the Kabo Uganda. That is the movement we are in. We are fasting today. Uh, Papa Apostle Padaka West, my pastor, I'm glad to see you. I love you so much. I honor you in the name of Jesus. We are, in a, we, we are in a day. Today is our second day. We are fasting and praying, coming out of any confidence, knowingly or unknowingly. Are you getting me? I want you to trust me. Anything, listen to me. Anything that you do that is not part of Christ, anything that you do which the Bible does not accept, hallelujah, it is wrong. And it being wrong, it means that it will claim your life. So you have to cross. When you accepted Christ and you became born again, you must fight to get loose, to shake off any covenant. Bible says in Psalm 74, that pay respect to the covenant, for the dark places of the world are cruel. Hallelujah. Many of us entered in certain covenants, knowing or unknowingly. Amen. But we can sanctify, we can renew our lives in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, our will can never be active before the tester dies. And the gun of damage is over the corner, or could you come here? A ricola, a source of Jesus Christ came and bought for us. He came and, ke and killed the power of sin. He came and gave us life in, in, in him. He came and made us to overcome. He came and gave us a greater inheritance. Yes, he cannot do a of our man. And then he died. After writing that will, this is the Bible. Here is the will that Jesus wrote for us. After writing it, he died in the flesh. And then he resurrected in a new body, in a new form. That the will may be activated. I want to tell you, everybody that is listening to me, as long as you are believing on Jesus, the testament is working. The will is the same as the testament. And I can call you Jesus Christ. To a God and I can call you Christ. We will be saved. We will be activated. We will have faith. Yes, we are going to. We are going to call you. We are going to call you. Are you getting me? We are going to call you. 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 Oh, in Amaran, the Gaquetto, the Ruiner, we got to Sabu Lago Gagama to Kupuara. Hallelujah. We are in a season of activating the, co the testament, the covenant of Jesus Christ. We are activating the covenant. We are activating the testament of our Lord Jesus Christ. What does Jesus Christ say about your life? He says that you will be free. You are no longer under a curse. Amen. Now, how comes that the curse of your, your aunt is working in your life? He says there is no sorcery against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. Agamatelid what we end up to a and that going to a kiss a young and yes, Christo. Yes, Christo had your companion in Dagano. Yet your Kuakanya Mateka. I got to go to Wakanya. I got to go to let a co or Sango. I got to go to let a catch you over no. He came to oppose the curse of the law. They say, Miss Mananga one way, but the man I know Samira when. But the man I know Samira, and you go to Jaja Mwanga. Jaja Mwanga slips on you on which deal. Amen. Many of us have gone, have, have, have gone to follow prophets. Kumanga, as, as Bishop always preaches here, Bishop always tells us that we should trust in God. But because of us, out of ignorance, we entered in the covenants we didn't know. No gende wana biwa wuli manakola we nabi nabi ayagan na ku ingiza munda gan. Every time you try to pray, you say, "Muli nyaya mukama, ni nda ku hitawo, ni nda ku angula." The the the, the demon stand and say, "No, holy wafi." On which deal? We are standing against all those covenants in this season by the blood of Jesus. You know, again, I'm a Hallelujah. 
According to our clans, people that have been following me, I don't know that people that, that have been following me. According to our clans, we have got names. Tulinamanya Gebatua, Namakuerinya, Mukasa. According to Jaja Mukasa of the rain, and I'm going to have another Mukasa, but in Okusamira, they get you to where we see every name, by the way, every name that we have has got some attachments. It has got some attachments. The best example I can give you is here. When the man called, when the man called uh, Jacob wrestled with an angel and his hip went out of joint, there he made a covenant with God. God told him, You will no longer be called Jacob because Jacob, the name of Jacob, hallelujah, wonderful, thank you so much, mommy. Jacob made a schema, a trick, a star, made a muyaye, a corny man. Hallelujah. But he gave him a new name called Israel. Israel meaning overcomer. Meaning a child of God. Meaning, what does Israel mean? Meaning a prince of God. We look also at Jabez in the Chronicles. Jabez was a man whose name meant sorrow. Hallelujah. We don't know what names the covenants are attached to our names. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not knowing the covenant that attached to such things. But there is a covenant that we must enter in. Jesus came to make a new covenant, a new testament. My God, Makaraba Sekara. Burimutu Jagalok, Hallelujah, Yaman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why tomorrow, is it today? Today we are going to have Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Pastor Chita Kufe. I, I, I believe that you are listening to me. Today we are going to break the covenant. Remember, Jesus spoke and said, This is the this is the blood of the new covenant. Oluario to gain the kumenye in the ganezo. O kuita mukusembera. Bure to sembera to menye in the gano. Hallelujah. Abani mukusiba. Muani kemi kono. Abade teva siba. Njagara musibe. I want us to fast. We are breaking every covenant. Jesus Christ. Listen to me. In the Old Testament, the Bible says that no covenant could be effected without the powering of the blood. Telling the Gano Yakolewanga, our Tariku Yuamu Sai. That is why in Exodus 24, when the man Moses had been given the new the laws, the Ten Commandments, may I listen to me. When the man Moses had been given the Ten Commandments, he got blood over, over, over lamp and poured on, 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 on the stones. He went ahead. And got blood and sprinkled on the entire congregation. Yakato Musai, Naguman Silakumana by Sayi, Nabona, Nagamati and Tagano, Mukama Jala Ganyanam, Nabawa Damateka. Even when Jesus came, Jesus Christ came, he fulfilled that covenant when he died. In the last supper, he said, This is the Passover. He said, This is the new covenant. Take of my blood, Munyoko Musai Gwang. Hallelujah. Take of my body. Hallelujah. Muriomo Miri Gwanga, Philip Pakarukura, you're most welcome. Today we are breaking covenants. In Jagara to very serious, a chilo chalero. Tonight at 9 p.m., Gendo Guleka soda, Gendo Gulaka Gati, Gandhi by bread, Gandhi by soda. We are going to have Holy Communion to come against any covenant. And he said, you, you, you will take of this as you remember me. As you drink this, you remember me. You can decide to be with your family. We welcome each and everyone on the, on the platform with your family. Hallelujah. With your family. Hey, my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Master. Ladies and gentlemen, many of us have attended the Holy Communion in churches. Therefore, we are, you, are, you, are going to, you are going to usher your family in the Holy Communion service. Alongside us, church, we, uh, church, be the priest of your family tonight. We will guide you. Come on, be the priest of your family tonight. We will guide you. We are coming against every covenant. Bring your family together for Holy Communion. The way you know it, not to call them is the way you should do it as we have Holy Communion in church. Listen to me, let me tell you something. No covenant can ever be effective when blood has not been powered. Listen to me. 
But now, if you are following me, you can say hallelujah, you can say amen. Let me tell you something. Even when somebody is covenanting with the demons, blood must be powered. I just want to get a cussale and tea. I'm going to get a mbata. I'm going to get a cussale and bata. I'm going to get a They're going to slaughter something so that the covenant may be effective because blood has to be powered out. But Jesus Christ. Poured out his blood for you. He poured out the blood of the new covenant. Jesus poured the blood for you. Hallelujah. And he tells us no need to pour your blood again. Jesus doesn't need you to go and get your chicken from the village. Or you're going to get your chicken What Jesus wants you to do. Things are simplified. Through faith. Get your bread, small bread, representing this body. Get a small cup of, of wine, uh, of soda or any juice representing his blood and have Holy Communion. With the faith, he is perfected in you. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 that they used to break bread. Around 43, the disciples, they used to remember the death of Jesus. They used to remember this covenant. They used to remember his blood by always having Holy Communion, by breaking bread, by eating bread. That are the if you are the father, if you are the mother, you are going to become the priest. You are going to lead your family in the bread, in the covenant, uh, in, the, in the villages. People just used to go in shrines. But they get about to soak. But now, Mukasa. Eh? But now, Memba, but now, Chiberenge, Bani. They used to go in the shrines every time and then they tell you, but Jaja. But Jaja, you used to do many rituals, many rituals. We still do them up to this time in our culture. Kwabia nyimbe, tuarize nyimbe, tumazo kwabia nyimbe, katuku sala dua, nemu sala dua, nemu jisala. Take kola chi, tu ino kwele rija, tu gende tuwele rija. You do many things to go to spend on the street, the compound of the dead. Many things invoking evil spirits, arousing covenants that you don't know about. The Bible says, the dead... Uh, do, do, do not live among the living. Hallelujah. Any spirit that is not the Holy Spirit has no right to be in your life. Let me come again. Any spirit which is not the Holy Spirit. Any don't wake up early in the morning and you begin saying, Mama, I dreamt my daddy. How I wish you come here. Uh, even in, in our African traditions, we have got many stories. Hey, we have the stories of a certain girl, what was her name? She was called in Jabala. Men, men of the African proverbs and stories, they refer to ghosts. Smanga, the ghost used to come and be there. If you annoy this person, the ghost will come and beat you. Such things. Even in Nigerian movies, you watch. Smanga, you are mistreating. Smanga, the ghost is going to come and it will beat in the night. Chua, chua. That is nonsense. The Holy Spirit is the only spirit that is the right to work in your life. enough. The Bible even speaks in the book of Deuteronomy that we should not engage in any enchantment. Smanga susi seyingi, smanga kuera guza, smanga ngaba jaja, smanga ngaba wasachika. All those covenants. Each road channel I want you to determine and come against them. But jaja wabale kanga madam, they used to leave wheels. But listen to this. Listen to what the Bible says in Hebrews 9.16. 9.16. Let me start from 15. The Bible says, and for this cause, he is the mediator. Oh, oh no. Let me start from, let me start from, um, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me start from verses 1. Let me read it. Let me just read it. It is so sweet. I'm going to start from verses 1 to verses 16. The Bible says in Hebrews 9, from verses 1, uh, then if really the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and worldly sanctuary. In the Nagana Yasoka, Yalimu Eri Kolabi Nebiamu Moviri, or Tegera, Vinebiamu Jo, Mosamanga Jaja, and Tutu Matuari, the Mere, imagine somebody leaves a wheel behind and tells you every morning you must get milk tea, put it on my grave, and chips and chicken, put it on my grave, put food on my grave every day. That is nonsense. Hallelujah. And he says that. And for there was a tabernacle made the first, uh, we are looking at how the first covenant was in the Old Testament. But the same thing is done even currently. Whereby they tell you do this for the judges. Simanyanga, you must go each and every time and you have a chijuro for the judges. And so on and so forth. We don't need those things in our lives. Hallelujah. This is what I, let me start from verses 10. 
Oh, let me start from verses 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, by his own blood, he entered once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Bible again, it's become after yes, Christo. Now, what is some say? Now, the question is, I'm a say, one was it. Mosai, one go to go some Mamasau. Ya yingira yo, everyone say, or Guria Nini Nini, a Wakatonda, or Kutugurida, or Locosi. Amen. Yenga ye. 13 says, For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of the of Anhaifa, sprinkling the unclean sanctifies to the purifying of the flesh, how who through to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Hallelujah. But yes, Christo. Katonda ya chiko se sanga ni chiko la Ati kato msa yikwa yesu kristo tebu singe u Okusopalo kulo kuna sobo ngobo Omusa yikwa yesu kristo chilo chalelo Ngatu 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 sembela kumeza As we have all the communion And the blood of Jesus The soda that you will have, the cup you will have It will signify his blood It is going to patch your conscience And you will also be a funa mwini chisela Musa yikwa yanga gantu ganga tambara mwini Musa yikwa yanga gantu ganga tuga Ah ah Mwana wange chiweta kye mtuwe kubi wana geno Samusa yikwa ja ja O gendoli ne kubi ja Such things are going to be patched in the name of Jesus, anything in your cautious, there's some people who won't work with because of the covenant. Oh, damn, we are one to one. Go on, my little money, no call a good money, Mugumu, we are good. You are go to seek a chapati. I mean, in the business, you are you are you are brain in the brain, you are handicapped to a civil war because of the covenants of the judges. The all by the many people in Uganda and across the across our our social settings. Every time the spirits are saying, or you know, could they use some here? Or you manawa mi zimu, mispe ngori manawa bichi. That conscious, Bible which say, I'm because what to know one another. It is patched because the Bible says, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the internal spirit offered himself without spot to God? Ati techi singo yes Christo mo nini nini o kuita mo moya ta fa, mo moya ta fa, mo moya ta guerera. Mo yelo nge se tari, mo yelo nge se aribera wo, eladiba wo ya tonde si. Hallelujah. We are still continuing. I'm reaching to the verse that I like. I have most. It says, and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Hallelujah. That by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions, that were under the first testament, they which are called may to receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. But Jack Java Fatima Charo, Neyes Christo Wadi, Okuita Mumusaiwe, Akubolo Kujamu, we have a Jack Jabo, no Kubana, Musmanga Jacob Kubechiwoko, or Okuba to Wasamid. And they even go ahead. By the way, I'm so amazed this thing on always hurts me so much. You go to a judge, a judge who spends a week without brushing teeth. His hair is shabby as if it is like uh, as if it is like uh, Marina Forest. Amen. I don't know when he, uh, he last used the shaver. He's very sticking, putting on uh, 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 whatever, smelling a back cloth. He's there confused. His eyes even have got to Jonjo. Amen. He's smelling, he's just there. But now, and then you go and you ask for wealth. Very, very fake. The devil is very fake. Hallelujah. And he says that. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the tester. For a testament is forced after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all where the tester lives. Amen. Whereupon Nathan the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats with water and scarlet wool and high soap and sprinkled both the, the book and all the people. Hallelujah. Say this is the blood of the, of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Hallelujah. We may end there. I've already spoken about this. Now currently, Jesus poured this blood for you. And uh, everybody, the Bible says, whoever believes upon Jesus Christ, you have, you, you have the right to become his child. But the kids have come and know we use that. I need them. I know my ganja. I need bed to. Oh, kufuko mana wa katonda. Oh, kuita mumoyo. Jesus Christ poured out his spirit for you. He poured out his blood for you. Don't you need to die again. He poured out. He poured out his blood that you may not die. But the kids are just to get a kufa. Oh, choose what you choose. I mean, katuna kwa yola kungia kano zava jaja fe. 
Awasewa kujira mubiroto. Every night you dream with them. You dream ancestors. Odo orota jaja uo mulembe. Asigala kukire iminga. Amen. Agala kubera mugwe. Neda, neda, neda. It is just that must live in you. Why? Ba jaja uo. Ba fata ba inache bakoze. Amen. That is why. Nga jaja uo yari nae wababa agalo obere. Ate ba jaja uo vali nenugu. Ba kula mo ori nyo genze mo Amerika. Ne ba kusiranya no koma uo. No, Bagara, some people, we have seen people in our villages. Hallelujah. Demons are tormenting them. Every time, Babela Mamuenge. Hallelujah. We have seen many people. Our bishop has prayed for many people. Almost said, Yarina said the man was very rich. But because of those covenants of the judges, the judges, they, they always want you to be like the way they are. You find this person always, Nanyo Meng, Nagwame Suminayo, Noneka, ah. Like he's the judge, the spirit of the judge, the judge of the judge. They don't want you to get into holy matrimony. Such nonsense. But Jesus Christ says that where the spirit of Jesus is, where the Holy Spirit is, there is liberty. There is liberty from any bondage. There is liberty from sin. There is progress. There is victory. We reign with him. We overcome. We become princesses. We take over. Tuamba, tuangula, ofuka mama wama wanga. Chona katola chaku tekela tekelo chiyingiram. Kubango yingiram. I have a great testimony about Pastor Chitakufe. Pastor Chitakufe always used to look at the plot of land or at their place wanting to inherit it. But right now, as we speak, we now grace the big is. Through him, God has given him a bigger inheritance. A land in Munyonyo. A land in everywhere. But this land, amen. I it was not given to him by his judge. It was not given to him by a Z. It was given to him by God. The inheritance is with God. We are fellow heirs with Christ. There is a big inheritance in God. So this night, don't dare miss. If you are just joking, saying, after all, Pastor Chitakufa is not seeing me, I will just come and I try to listen. Listen, because that man preaches very well. All the man can preach, he can testify. I will just come online and I will just look a little bit and then I go do my things. I watch my Kazanyo. Hallelujah. And in South Uganda, I, I watch my Shoti Baku. No. Please become serious. The challenge we have is that this Bishop Oman always speaks about it. People don't want reality. People want to be first scared around. Be scared around. Hallelujah. They want to say, ha, I saw something on you at night. It was dancing on you like a monkey. And then you will say, oh, 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 then I have to, to, to obey. No. Our God is simple. Our God is easy. Our God is real. He doesn't need to prove himself. Hallelujah. So obey Let us tonight. Enter in this covenant of the precious blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of the Father. Let us enter in this covenant in the name of Jesus, Christ the Son of the living God. We are coming against every covenant. Uh, the covenant of Jesus Christ must be effected in your life. Many of us have been in church, but when we have not fully given away some covenants, the best example I can give you was uh, concerning is, is she Rachel, uh, the, the wife to, yeah, Rachel, yeah, the wife to Jacob. Rachel, when, 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 when they were running away from Laban, amen, they were worshipping God, but she kept some things with her. Hallelujah, she kept some gods with her. So you have got some gods in you. Hallelujah. You are in the church, but there are some gods that are working in you. Hallelujah. Amen. We are preaching the gospel together with mommy. She's doing, doing a great work. Hallelujah. I just bless the Lord for her life. Amen. And Pastor Chitakfe, they love you so, so much. Amen. She stole Lebanese gods. Can you imagine? Some of us are in the church, but still clinging on to some covenants. You are clinging on to some covenants. And you are very naive. You cannot say no. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Joshua. Amen. Some of us are in church, but still clinging on some small gods, still clinging on some covenants. We have not allowed Jesus to be effected in our lives. We have not allowed him to be effected in our lives. Hallelujah. Some people, we come to church. Hallelujah. We come to what? To church. But we can also freely go 
to a person that you know that this is a false prophet, a, a false prophet, when you can go there and they tell you, we want this and this and you do them. We are still ritualistic. We still have that spirit of, uh, of, of religion in our lives. We need each to be perfected in our lives. Florentia, you are most welcome. You are welcome, Florentia. In the name of Jesus. We need to be affected. Amen. In Jesus, there is a big and great inheritance. If at all we give away every God, everything that is not right within us, let us give it away. And the Lord surely will do us great in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen. So we are having Holy Communion. Let me tell you once again, the blood of Jesus was poured out. You don't need to power any blood. You don't need to power any, any hen. You don't need to power blood of a, of a cow or a calf. Amen. We are going to have communion. Hallelujah. But above all, bread and a drink. You will have a bread and a, and a drink. I want to remind us once again, I want to emphasize this. When we are having Amen. We, 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 we get a small bread, very small, and at the same time, a very small drink. If it is possible, you can even get drops, like 20 drops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, drops, just drops. Amen. And we have it. Why does Jesus do it like that? We do it like that because it shows that the bread of, of Jesus, when you have to eat Jesus, you cannot get satisfied. Like Jesus is always too much. We need to eat him every single day. The same is his blood. Amen. At that one you will do it after the after the service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we do it later. And I think we don't want you for the pastor to say that, aha, uh -huh, we are going to have oral communion. Then you remember, oh, let me run and go and buy it. No. It is always good to prepare. Hallelujah. The Bible says that preparation is for a man and the fulfillment is for God. God is going to see somebody who is serious. That is faith, by the way. God will see this person waited. This person attached value to this. This person was eager. Hallelujah. You put it across, God will say yes. But then let me tell you something. It is your faith. It will show faith. If I told you, do it earlier and you separate it. And, amen. You call your family, you sit together and you break the bread. Like the pastor, pastor leading us and the cup, and we have Holy Communion. Only that alone is going to come against every covenant in your life. Any covenant of the enemy that is waging war against you, it is going to be broken down. In the name of Jesus. Dida Sunshine, you are most welcome. We are in a season of breaking covenants. We are breaking any covenant. I repeat again, 9 p.m. sharp. We are breaking covenants. We have seen in a book, by the God, read the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, you have seen. Amen. Jesus perfected it all. We are free from the law of sin. We are free from the curse of sin. The curse of sin has no grip over you. The curse of sin has no hold on you. Amen. Those things that, uh, some of you, you accepted Jesus. But we are still by the as we speak, you have got some relatives that are rich, but they have become rich out of witchcraft. But for keeping things over. They can things and all the rituals and all the ceremonies. Amen. And they are telling you, oh well, they are telling you, if you don't, if you don't follow our things, you are going to be poor. But if you follow, you're going to be rich like these people. They will cheer you. Jesus Christ has made you rich. Don't be lied around. Let them not lie to you. Amen. You don't need to engage in any rituals and ceremonies for you to be free. Jesus died. He left, I remind you. He left for us a covenant. It is here. He left for us here a testament. This is the will. Whatever we want, we just believe. We just pray. He died in the flesh. Amen. If, if your judge died and left a will... I mean, and the will is active. Now there is a will that is active beyond all the wills. It nullifies every will. I mean, it nullifies every will. 
It is above every will. That is the will of Jesus. He made it a will after doing the will. Namazok to Gurida, Amazoku and Guyabaru Valley, Amazoku Guru Gaga, Barinoka. After Jesus had purchased for you the wealth, he had blessed you with the blessings. The way that I have seen my Jaja. Amen. He had blessed you with all the blessings. He had blessed you with the houses in China. Blessed you with the. <laughs> when I speak about China, people may, may, may run around and say, You want to bring to us COVID. He had blessed you. By the way, let me tell you something. He had blessed you that even if you go to China, you can reign from there. Also, we're in China no longer. We have seen people that accepted the covenant of God and believe the upon Jesus, and they said that let us leave behind everything concerning our families. Like the man Abraham. Abraham decided to covenant with God. He left everything, and through him we are we are what we are. Hallelujah. Amen. So we ready with just with the blessings, no matter where you are. You'll go to people who worship Buddha, you go in India where they worship Krishna, but as long as you're holding tight on the covenant of Jesus. You will become a rich, reign over them like, like Daniel. Daniel kept the covenant. Another thing, I want us to observe the Indians. I'm winding up. The Indians know to keep the covenant of their gods. And they come in Uganda and they use Ugandans. Are you getting me? They use Ugandans. As I speak here in Kamuli, Bishop Chitakufe is on a project of helping elders. Even to them morning, they have just come back. They, they move well giving out food. They help you people. And still, we, we told you that you can partner with us. Uh, we don't need to speak much about you ourselves, but we just pass it to Chisa or Yisa. Katona Gwaku Teko, Mokome Gwaku. They are doing that work. They are helping people here in Kamuli with the food, uh, post show. They are giving out food. At the same time, they are uh, renovating houses for the elder and so on and so forth. In the Kamuli, there is a lot of anger. Why is there too much anger? People gave out their land, they, they leased their land. Somebody gives out the land 10 years to the, to the Indian to grow sugar cane for the sugar, plant, for the sugar factories. But this person has given out the land 10 years to be used for sugar cane growing and they have given him only 500,000. No, it was a ton of coca. It was a ton of coca. It was a ton of ton. The land and they are dying of, of anger. That is the challenge in, here in Kamori. There is no food. Hallelujah. To an Indian, an Indian who came from India, Malova in India, he was very poor. You know, for me, who does a sociology? We have, in India, there's what they call the caste system, the strata. They have got around seven. Smanga, the Brahims, the priests, uh, men, they, they, they categorize them. I mean, so that in India, as long as you belong, you, you belong to any caste system, even if you become rich anyhow, they can never recognize you. So people that are not recognized in India are coming here with their gods and they're taking over. I mean, you can also take over by the blood of Jesus, like the man Isaac, in the mighty name of Jesus. Tomorrow, we are washing the feet. Wash your family's feet as we guide you tomorrow. Today it is Holy Communion. Tomorrow we are washing the feet. Tomorrow we are standing in 13, chapter 13 of John, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for any questions, any patterning, I've told you about the, the project of Bishop Chitakufe, you can call 0705081012. And the Lord will not leave you the same. Uh, we have dream interpretation on Sunday. Dream interpretation on Sunday. Therefore, we welcome you. Please send, send. Sunday at 9 p.m. in the evening. Send your, your dream earlier enough. Subscribe through the link in the description. Subscribe on our YouTube channel. May the Lord bless you. Father, we thank you for those that have listened, no Lord Father. You have redeemed us under the curse of the law, from the curse of the law. You have made us a blessing. You became a curse that may be a blessing, oh Lord. Whatever was following our lineages, our genealogies, whatever our grandparents did, what our parents did, in Christ we are free. We are at liberty by the Spirit of God that Christ through us, Abba Father. I pray that it may fall upon each and everybody here in the name of Jesus, that we may overcome through the blood of Jesus. We pray and we believe. Amen. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you all.